I'm just going to sit down. I, I know, it sounds so nice. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. This is wonderful. <laughs> Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is my pleasure to welcome everyone this evening for our celebration of 32 years of leadership, 32 years of creativity from the wonderful Cliff Rosenthal. Yeah. Absolutely. Here, here, here. Now, this evening we're going to have an opportunity to revisit all 32 years. <laughs> well, maybe not every single year, but uh, we definitely will have the opportunity to highlight all of the amazing work that Cliff has done. And we're going to celebrate, we're going to laugh, and we are going to shed a couple of tears. But know that, Cliff, everyone in this room so adores you. Especially oh, you know, <laughs> are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> and we are here to uh, celebrate you um, and to wish you a fond farewell. So without further ado, I'm going to introduce Linda Milton, who is the chair of the Federation's Board. Okay. Thank you, Pam. <laughs> Sure, I want to talk Everybody's attention is going to be on these beautiful pictures up here. Uh, I'd like to thank everyone this evening also. And on behalf of the Board of Directors of the Federation, I want to thank you for taking out the time, your busy schedule, to come and help us to celebrate this farewell celebration of uh, Cliff Sports and Ball. 32 years here at the Federation. This is a time that we knew would come. We didn't expect it to come this soon, but the time <laughs> is here. <laughs> you know, there's a saying about the time for everything. So this is the time when Cliff is departing from, from the Federation. 32 years, as I thought about that, 32 years, hard work, long hours, to build an organization that he now leaves that is financially sound and well recognized now. Uh, there are a lot of mixed emotions about Cliff's leaving. Yes. A lot of mixed emotions. No mixed emotions at all. It's very not, <laughs> <laughs> but, you know, as, as I thought about it, not only is it mixed emotion, but it's a, a time of opportunity. Not only an opportunity for Cliff to move on and do in another arena things that he's done here for 32 years, but also it gives him an opportunity to, to share with another financial institution what we do as an organization, what we do as a movement. And maybe, hopefully, with his uh, insight, experience, it will kind of bridge the gap and help to have other financial institutions to understand who and what we're all about. As I thought about it, Cliff, that's it. Oh, my God. <laughs> you know, everybody want, in their lifetimes, you think about something that, uh, what will I leave? What will my legacy be when I leave? You have indeed, in left a legacy here at the, at the Federation. Your footprints will be forever and ever. Whenever somebody says Federation, the first thing that will pop to their mind will be the Rosenthal, because you have been the face, everything of the Federation over the past years. But Cliff, what I wanted to thank you for was that, you know, even though you've done a lot of work with the Federation, thank you is not enough. There are not words that can say uh, how we feel about you and what you've done. But the one thing I want to do is thank you for your vision that you had. Mm -hmm. And not only having that vision, but having the tenacity and the willpower to make that vision become a reality. Mm -hmm. A reality today is something that you can be proud of. I mean, you said a couple of times, I never dreamt that this organization would be what it is today. Mm -hmm. So that had to have a lot of thought, hard work to get to this point. So as you leave, know that you leave us physically, but you'll always be in our hearts. Thank you. Okay? And what we want to do is to wish you farewell, much success, and what I'd like to hear you say when you leave your job that you're there now, I never dreamt that I could do what I've done now. So good luck to you, good for your new job. Okay. Excuse me. 
I'm taking it. She's already given me instructions. <laughs> That's great. I never could do that. You never could. <laughs> want to because you knew where to go before I had to tell you. Thank you. So on behalf of the board of directors, we would like to present you, you know, I don't like plaques, but I told Pam, I said, since we just have to give them something, please make it, make it a nice glass one. <laughs> so this, this is from the board of directors, and I'm not going to read it out, Cliff, but just know that even though we don't have all our directors here, they're here with you in spirit, and we want you to know how much we love you and how much we're going to miss you. You're welcome. <laughs> They've got good taste too. <laughs> and Pam. Yeah, and, 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 and I don't, want, don't put that one in the oh. basement. No, no, no. Show that one. Show that one. Okay. Uh, and, and before Pam, one other thing. We do have two of our board members. All of them. I'll tell you a story about this. So, so when I got the Wagner, Herb Wagner Award in 2005, and you, you'll see, and it's on this, it's not very attractive. It's about this big, and it's got these little little crystal spikes at the bottom. I didn't get from the podium to the to the table before I broke it. <laughs> this is much sturdier. Thank you. Thank you. Just Cut my hands too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Even though our board members couldn't be here this evening, we do have two board members who were able to uh, be with us this evening. I'd like to introduce so. Shirley Sproul, who is the secretary of the board. Also, Sharon Sargent. Oh, we're getting instructions. <laughs> You know, at our last board meeting, yeah. uh, Terry told us she wanted us to do something special. Mm -hmm. So she canvassed this for you. Oh, how nice. For the, oh, that's great. For the, for the board. Hold on. That's great. You didn't get rid of the chambers with a tie on, but nobody else ever believed <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Uh, Cliff actually started out as the director of education. Her Training and technical assistants. Training and technical assistants. T and TA. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and one of our board members uh, used to <laughs> pronounce it a little bit differently, Bob Mama. <laughs> but I wanted to introduce Jean Sklar. Jean was actually part of the search committee yeah. that saw so much potential and so much creativity in Cliff and said, we've got to hire him. So Jean, if you could say a couple of words. We, we didn't say that at all. We said. <laughs> oh, <laughs> God, it's a, it's a lot of years. Uh, there was a group in in the city called the New York Four, and they were four community development credit unions. I don't think uh, the term existed then, but essentially they were working in low income neighborhoods in East Harlem Mine Union. And then uh, Jim Clark, who was going to do this speech. Uh, was down at uh, an old bank on Avenue B or C or A <laughs> down in 10th Street, I think. Uh, Manufacturers Hanover is one of those. Anybody know about his operation? Well, that was before this credit union. All right. Yeah. And then we went over to uh, uh, St. Michael's on, I think, Amsterdam and 99th Street. It's all the still very old at this school church. And there's a fellow named Louis Malavi there who, uh, as I recall, when I first went over to see his operation, the first thing he did was he led us down into the crypt of the church where we could see all the dead people who were buried there. <laughs> we were all excited about that. <laughs> and then in Brooklyn, uh, Al Alayon and who was the sidekick? Bill Prinesic. Bill Prinesic were running a very nice operation. Yes, he can't find uh, in Brooklyn, and uh, they said in we were looking at yeah, this right, application, right there, yeah. and it was sort of a strange application, and we weren't sure what to do with it. Uh, it was this guy who was uh, had worked, I think, in Connecticut with Indian right. groups and was doing consumer work, and his degree, forgive me again, his degree was in Russian. <laughs> <laughs> and we had no idea, no idea whether 
this was a wise decision. <laughs> <laughs> and obviously it wasn't. <laughs> at any rate, uh, Federation, I think at that time, was in not such great shape, and I assume that uh, with these fancy gifts, things are better. <laughs> <laughs> but very early, very early on, uh, Federation was in terrible trouble, and the finances were almost non-existent. And I think that uh, Cliff and Annie Amber, my goodness, a name out of the past, people know Annie Vapper? No, yes. no I've heard of her. Uh, came up, very kindly came up, and moved operations up to Union Settlement in East Harlem for a while, while things were being turned around. They've been turned around this dramatically, this well, and Federation represents this kind of strength. Uh, I suspect this is a tribute to all of you, but particularly a tribute to your own leadership on the staff level and your own leadership on the board level. And I'm delighted to be here. I feel as though I'm just an old uh, <laughs> low member, low number member of my credit union, and it's very nice to be here and share the occasion with you. Thank you. Thank you. Fantastic. Well, we also have some credit union members and some friends of the federation. We just wanted to say a couple of words to Cliff and let him know how important his vision and his leadership has been to us. Um, so I'm going to start with Amy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a credit union friend. Uh, my name is Amy I'm a program right. officer with the Ford Foundation. We may have paid for these fancy things. <laughs> <laughs> Why so small? <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think uh, I think instead of being funny, I'll be sentimental and um, just say that you know, as a the Ford Foundation's a social justice philanthropy, and we really care about uh, trying to do make some systemic change so that every low-income household in the United States has access to fair and affordable financial services that can help them feed their families and take care of their financial lives and get out of poverty ultimately and move up move up the chain. And um, to do that, we need partners. We need partners who are out there doing the real work. Uh, I make no pretense that I, I do the real work. And so <coughs> finding a partner like Cliff and like the Federation has been really invaluable for the Ford Foundation. We have been uh, with you guys for a long time now. And that we keep re-upping says something, I think, because it's, it's not so easy to get the grant through. <coughs> Ford. Um, so thank you for all your work. And I guess on a <coughs> personal note, um, you know, what really impresses me about how you've led this organization is that, first of all, you know everything. Yes. I mean, you know everything. And so there's an answer, you know, any question I ask, there's an answer to, which makes it hard to say no. <laughs> but, and then the other thing is that it's really a labor of love, and that shines through all of the work you do. Um, you really care, and the whole organization, and that's a tribute to your leadership, I think, really cares about credit unions, at the institutions, and also about the communities that they're serving. And so um, we will miss you. Um, I'm sure we'll continue to work with you in your new role. And I know the Federation will miss you, but I also know the Federation is in a really strong place and will continue the great work, and we look forward to working with the uh, organization in the future. Thank, Thank you. you. Johnson has asked to make a presentation to Cliff. Okay, I'm okay. <laughs> Mr. Rosendahl, Mr. Rosendahl. It is indeed a pleasure and a privilege to be able to present you on behalf of the New York Community Financial Network this plaque. Thank you.
I'm going to get a picture. Mm -hmm.